Alright then ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 6 of A World of Ice and Fire mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Where we left off last time, we made our first Enterprise in Dragonstone. Um, and we, we finished the episode in Dragonstone as well. However, now you can see that I'm in Lord Haraway's town. That's because uh, while the... Uh, between this episode and uh, you know the start of this episode and the end of last episode I have been doing a lot of trading and I've made a lot of lot of money a heck ton of money from trading which is a great thing I like this money that I've made uh, I made a lot of money I, you know I did like a week of trading and so um, essentially what I did uh, we got iron from the drag from Dragonstone we uh, sold it to some some of the cities in the Riverlands. We got salt from the Riverlands. We went up to the to the north, got furs from the north, to White to Sisterton, to Goldtown, Dragonstone, and we did like a circle like this. Also, I think I stopped at, stopped off at Stony Sept as well to get some iron uh, from Stony Sept, and also sell some furs uh, at Stony Sept because I know the Westerlands they get they stay by first for a very very expensive amount of money so it's very good um, to sell in the, in the Westerlands and you know I mean like the proper Westerlands I don't mean this, this part of the Westerlands anyways so here we are enough of that introduction um, I would like to take a look at some comments that uh, you guys have made I am now on my phone now I'm gonna take a look um, Let's take a look at what you guys what you guys have said. I thank you a lot for participating and uh, leaving your comments and advices. It's it's been very helpful. Okay, so you guys are telling me to uh, set up ironworks in the Stormlands. Okay, uh, they apparently have a lot of um, they give you a lot of um, uh, profit. You told me about. You told me to get wineries in the Reach, breweries in almost every part of Westeros except for the Stormlands, which you've already explained. The uh, Karga, thank you very much. You already explained that Ironworks uh, is more prof is more profitable there. Okay. Um, apparently, uh, Kyburn has better medical stats and therefore he's more expensive, but it doesn't ultimately matter who I get because I can upgrade them, of course. So okay. Hmm. Okay, and I should buy iron from the Westerlands. Okay, yes, I I know I know that now. So thank you very much uh, to Mr. Spartan. I see that now. Okay, um, cool. Let's uh, let's get going then. Um, so this episode, I plan to uh, let me see if uh, the prices. Okay, there's some salt. We'll buy some salt in the in the Riverlands. Let's just quickly get a bread as well. Um, I'm going to quickly take a look at my party. I will talk to Bron so he can gather right to rule. Um, I'd like to ask you something. Okay, King of this land, goodbye. Get over and get us right to rule. So let's just quickly level up our troops. Okay, nice. Um, so, uh, we are going to get the salt from Lord Haraway's town. Let's go over to perhaps salt pans, um, where we will uh, get some more salt and we will head over to the north. There's a Brotherhood without banners. Okay, they have some thieves as captives. Okay. Um, oh, the salt is a bit expensive here. Hmm. Uh, if it's a hundred, if it's under one hundred and fifty, I think it's okay. So let's do that. Um, very good. Okay. Uh, who are you? You are hill tribesmen. Um, they have bows, don't they? Let me quickly check. Uh, here are bandits as well. Okay, uh, so if we take out the hill tribesmen, we have to leave immediately because we're going to have to fight those bandits too. Uh, let's try to get over to the Brotherhood Vault Banners. Maybe they can help us. Um, actually, we can outrun them. Uh, it's just because they have bows. I prefer to try not to fight them. However, we can fight these bandits. Maybe I'm not too sure. Uh, is We can avoid it, you know. Let's avoid the fight. Uh, I'd like to gain stuff from fighting, you know, I don't want to just fight um, also for no reason. I would like to gain gain something from fighting. Um, actually, I think we've leveled up as well, so let's quickly take a look at what we can do. Um, I might actually put some two points into charisma, because just having six charisma as the base, I think it's okay. I know you can get this from companions, though, like, you know, leadership from companions. But having one leadership is still... It's still uh, a bit atrocious. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. It's still a bit. Uh, it's a bit crap. Um, 
let's do six charisma and we'll leave leadership uh, at two and we'll leave charisma at six. Uh, and then we will we'll spec the rest of our points into in intellect, into intelligence. Uh, that's the plan. Okay, um, cool. Let's continue. Uh, I would like to also mention, uh, because of the support you guys have given, I'm willing to rename companions. Uh, I'm willing to rename companions to what you guys want me to name them. So, uh, uh, I would like to reward some of you guys. So, uh, Mr. Sparta and Karga, if you are, if you two are watching, uh, because you you two have basically left uh, comments in basically every single video, I would like to. Um, Reward you and as a, as a, and uh, you know say thanks to you by allowing you to pick any one of the companions in this mod. Any one of the companions. I hope you both don't change the same. Uh, you don't choose the same companion. If that does happen, then whoever made the first um, uh, you know claim would obviously get will obviously uh, get the get the reward. But uh, name a companion in 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 this mod and then tell me what you would want me to rename him into it can be something funny it can be something uh you know it can be renamed into your own name anything you like and we'll rename that companion as as you as you prefer you know nothing too offensive of course uh, that you know uh, that can uh, cause problems to myself but you know you guys you guys seem to be reasonable adults so i think it's fine Man, Rob Stark, you need to deal with these Lannisters. Uh, they're they're roaming around your country. Come on, man. Um, Sir Devon, uh, that's a death. Sir Devon Lannister as well. Okay. Oh, poor village farmers. Okay, let's go over to Winterfell. Uh, oh, there's was that Rob Stark? Oh, oh I think it said Robert. Never mind. Let's sell the f the salts over here. We got a bit excited. One second. Let's sell the rest over here. Okay. Nice. We're making even more money. Uh, now we're at Winterfell. What I would like to do, I'll stroll through the town. Um, actually, I won't stroll through the town. I'll go to the Smoking Log Inn first. Um, uh, oops, I meant to do this. Let's go to the Smoking Log Inn first because I want to talk to Jarrell. I would like to... Uh, yes, this one. I would like to buy... Uh, buy some mead or whatever uh, to the people. Uh, of Winterfell, so I can get a enterprise up and running in Winterfell. This is the this is the goal. Um, okay, I was thinking about upgrading my armor, but honestly, upgrading this armor is going to cost a lot of money, and uh, it's only going to give like maybe one or two extra um, armor, so it's not worth it. Uh, I will wait until I can get a better armor. Okay, I wish to buy lands for productive enterprise. I believe a bury is the one that's worth it over here. Okay, 717 silver stacks a week. Um, wait, whoops. I don't want to do that. Uh, where is it? Okay. Millim okay, 30. That's terrible. Whoops. Actually, this is uh, cool. Uh, the wealthiest town in Westeros and Essos is, to is known to be Lord's Port. Lord's Port is... Uh, no, that's not Lion's Port, is it? Lord's Port is uh, the Iron Islands. Wow. That's no way that Lord Sport is the richest. Okay. Anyway, I was just interested. Okay. Uh, let's buy land from Dr. Enterprise. Um, Ironworks. Ironworks is also decent. It actually makes more profit than the... Uh, than, than the... Uh, Bury, but uh, it costs more. I, I know that much. Um, weavers. 250 silver stags. Low. Okay. No, thank you. Weavers. I mean, these guys, are the, you can make money from basically everything here. Profit will be 464. Okay, you know, it's actually there. It's not as bad as I thought, but we'll get the Bury up and running because it costs less and it makes a decent amount of money. Okay. That's uh, 4,500 gone. Okay. Um, let's um, head over to the north. I mean, the, the wall. Uh, who are you? You're the Burleys. Okay. Okay, it's taking a bit of a risk going this quick. Who are you? Bandit leader. Okay, there's only eight of them. We can handle this. We can handle this. Okay, uh, we have the cavalry actually. What we're going to do, we're going to tell the cavalry to follow me. Um, if the cavalry follows me, maybe we can use them to help uh, debate the shots. That would be most ideal. Um, come on, guys, follow me. Here they are. Okay. Um, let's see what damage we can do. 
Uh, I would like to take out the bandit leader, of course, uh, because of the big uh, sh uh, axe that this dude has. Oh, what's he doing now? What the heck was he doing? Okay, let's go take out this dude. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, this guy with the bow. Let's take him out. Nice. This guy. Oh, 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 what the hell, man? These guys are just. What is he doing? Okay, nicely done. Nicely done. Don't get yourself killed, Rivalin's Outrider. Oh, this bandit leader's gonna mess him up. Oh, and I missed him. I I missed him. That what the hell is going on there? Anyways, uh, it's going it's going fine. It's going fine. Okay, bandit leader has been killed. Perfect. Oh, man, don't don't get killed. Don't get killed. Don't get killed. Oh, they're running. They had enough. They're running. They're running. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. You dead. Six killed, two wounded. Let's grab you as captives. Thank you. Uh, we'll burn the dead. Uh, it's, uh, meh. We'll, we'll grab them. We can sell them. Uh, we can get any money we can. Uh, for sure. Okay, let's head over to Castle Black. Um, Lord of Bones. Uh, okay. Uh, we don't... We want to not fight them. Ideally. These guys are having a feast over here. They are dying, uh, they have uh, wildlings who've just taken the shadow tower, I didn't actually notice that. They have wildlings taking the shadow to, uh, tower, there's Lord of Bones over here, and Tormund's party over here, and they are throwing a competition. How lovely, how lovely. You know what, uh, should we participate in the competition? Yeah, let's go on. let's do it, let's do it. Let's participate in the competitions, let's go. We have uh, decent armor. Um, our shield is probably Mediocore, and this guy already got knocked out. Okay, okay, get out of my way, please. Who's on my team? I have no idea who's on my team. Who's on my team? Oh, man. Ow. God damn. I, was, I had no idea who was on my team. Okay, it seems we're not ready for competitions. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> we're not ready for competitions. That's all right. Rogue, angry. Uh, let's take a look. Let's talk to you. Hey, there, I see you're a fighter. Just like me in some sense. How about some arborette? W with pleasure. What's your name? I am Damon. I'm angry. Angry. Am I saying that correctly? I have a feeling I'm saying that very wrong. Angai. Or is it Angai or angry? Okay, I think Angai is going to be more... Oh, we'll just call him the Archer. Okay, I'm the Archer. You could have heard my name in King's Landing after I won the archery competition during the Tourney of the Hand. Outshot that King's Guards Knight Sir Balon Swan and Zaula Barzo, some exiled prince. Lord Sal offered me to join a Hand's Guard, but I know better than to be a Guardsman, so he sent me off with the light, Lightning Lord to execute the Giant of an Outlaw, the Mountain. Only after King Robert had died, we've became the Outlaws. Okay. 16,000 silver stacks. Come on, man. That's too much. Way too much. Okay. Um, so, I'm worried that we, as soon as we leave, these guys are probably going to chase us. Actually, let's visit Lord Saul. We can't visit Lord Saul for frick's sakes. Do me some favors, man. Can I visit Lord Saul now? Seriously, you serious? I help these guys, you know. I help, I help these guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to do a quest with these guys. I can't be bothered to deal with their, uh, with their stupid uh, tawnies and not being able to visit the Lord's Hall. Come on, man. Can I visit now? Fuck you. Who is the Weeper? Um, okay, let's try that again. Okay, you know what? I, I had enough of you. Screw you. We're just gonna grab your furs and we're out of here. I think those are a bit too expensive. Let's, and it will slow us down, so let's uh, get out of here. By the way, where is Jorah Mormont? Uh, I don't. Jor, sorry, I keep calling him Jorah. I mean Jor Mormont. He's not. He doesn't happen to be here. Oh man, come on. How you? How long are you having a feast for? Come on. You having a feast for ages? Who are you, John Lofston? Good day, do I need services of us? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is one of the companions I renamed. Uh, this is uh, meant to be Gendry, I believe. 
Uh, I renamed him into John Nofstrand. I have I cannot remember at all who John Nofstrand was. It was one of it was either a uh, commander of the Golden Company, or it was some guy that comes from a major family. I will have to check it up. I can't remember. Anyways, um, we'll grab him into our party. Um, so yeah, it's just one of the companions I renamed to try and fit a Black Fire law. Uh, this will upgrade this guy to a bandit. Uh, let's take a look at you, your skills. Um, yeah, you suck. All right. Um, I guess Gendry would be someone like a um, well, John Nofstrand in this case is going to be someone like a uh, a a like maybe a um, uh, I think he's an engineer. So what we'll do, we'll probably get him a bow. I don't think he, he can actually use a bow, can he? Um, skills, let's take a look. Uh, power draw is zero. Okay, you're not going to be able to use a bow for some time. So we'll probably get your crossbow, my friend. Uh, arms, something we can get you. Uh, the Night's Watch stuff sucks. Come on. Um, okay, it's fine. We'll just grab you some stuff from Winterfell when the time comes. We'll go back to Winterfell. Okay. Who are you? Northern clansmen. Can we fight you? I think we can. But I actually don't I don't wanna fight them on the bridge. I don't wanna fight them at the bridge because then they will have a a little bit of a choke point against me. I want to fight them on a on an open field. Okay. Let's fight these guys and perhaps we can steal some of their equipment and give it to John Nofston. Okay. Um we will, we will deal with these guys ourselves, and it's not a problem for me. Um, all right then. So it's been a good, good old episode where we haven't, we haven't suffered too much. I guess it's been all right. Uh, I just need to be careful. The guys with the big swords. Um, looks like four of them have the big swords. Okay, these, he's not paying attention. So let's take that guy out with the big sword. Okay, that also guy. That guy is also taken out with the big sword. Okay. Big sword taken out. This guy with a big sword. Don't turn back. Yes. Nice. Okay. I think we've taken out the guys that can actually cause us damage. Okay. Nope. They all, they seem to all have big swords now. Okay. This guy has a uh, sling. No. You know, my horse is actually taking a lot of damage from the sling. It's it's uh, it's bothering me a lot. Uh, I might actually get a new horse. It's, it's fast. It's cool. It's very... Um, uh, I think this let's get a free kill with this guy. It's fast, it's smooth, it's swift, it's maneuverable, but holy damn, it goes down quickly. Look at that. It only got hit by stones, literally. And what, you see this? You see this? It got hit by a stick and it received 20 damage. This horse is a big problem for me. Okay. This horse is causing me problems. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to retreat and we're going to fight this again. Uh, because that, if that horse goes down, we're going to die. We're going to die. It's as simple as that. And our party gains some morale from that, you know, so we can have them gain some morale again. We will hold down and hold the position over here. And we will chase down the remaining uh, the remaining mountain clansmen. I hope they don't draw out big swords now. Because um, uh, those big swords, they scare me. They have a very good range. They're very slow, so by the time they, they can swing... But, oh, look at that. Uh, by the time they can swing, uh, I will, I could, uh, you know, actually take them out. I can actually take them out. Okay, let's try to take this guy out when he's not paying attention. Okay. Did my horse just take damage there? My horse received, do you see this, guys? Do you see how bad this horse is? How bad the armor it is? And, you know, I suppose it makes sense. It's fine. It should, uh, it's all right if that happens. Uh, because, uh, you know, this horse is going down, boys. This horse is going down. Let's uh, retreat again. Uh, it's fine. We can take this nice and slowly. Um, you know, uh, it, I suppose it makes sense because this horse is fast, so it's meant to be offset by weak armor and you know uh, and weak HP. But honestly, I'd rather a a horse that's not too fast. It doesn't need to be that fast, but it doesn't shouldn't be too slow. But it has decent armor. You know, it can it can take a stone or two. You know, this one can't. This one really can't. It's struggling. Let's take that guy's head off. Let's take this out guy out and let's hit you. Delivered uh, nine damage. There you are. This guy's uh, had enough. Oh, 
There he is, he's dead. Okay. Nice. We've dealt with them. Cool. Nicely done. Uh, let's capture you guys. Uh, let's burn the dead. And of course, I guess we don't get any proper loot because we retreated from the battle. And who are you, Northern Clansman Chief? Oh, they're the Harclays. What? Why are the Harclays attacking me? I, thought, I, I have no pro. I don't have a problem with them. I don't have a problem with them. Okay. Let's see our troops. We're going to get slaughtered. We are going to get slaughtered. Where's the horse? I need to run to that horse. ASAP. Let's not get on the pony. Let's actually get on the horse. Maybe we, maybe we can do it. Actually, guys, maybe we can do it. I feel, I think this horse has better has better HP than the freaking um, whoever whatever that thing is. Uh, uh, what, what was that other horse? Oh my goodness! Thirteen damage. Okay, I've done no damage here. If we can kind of distract them, uh, that's fine. Take out the guys with the big swords, because they are the problem over here. Okay, let's try to take these guys out that are not paying attention. You better be paying attention. If you don't pay attention, you're going to die, my friend. Get him out. Take these guys out with the slings. Oh, swing! Don't don't swing, but don't swing at me. Oh yeah, our, our, we, our dudes are going down. Oh crap! Yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I won't touch your kind again. Okay, actually, actually, we're we're doing some bits. We're doing bits here. We're doing bits. Okay, we're not doing bits. <laughs> okay. Uh, six uh, against eleven. Uh, you know, we we did we did uh, decent. Uh, enemies take us prisoner oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, for fuck fuck's sakes, we lose our solo horse. But where was my um? Where was my what's it called? My sand steed. You know, I know I was shitting on it for a while, but uh, you know, I I'm, I wonder where that was. Oh God! Wait, did they take my sand steed? Yeah, it seems as if they did. Okay, we have no horse now. Ending the episode with no horse. I was going to attack them, then I realized I have no horse. So it's not a good idea, probably. Not a good idea. Who's Who remained with us? Who's that unlucky guy? Okay, it's John Lofton. Okay. Um, in terms of our character, we've leveled up. Let's up our intellect now. Um, okay, we're going to put some points into wound treatment, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Wound treatment. Okay. Our 100 weapon proficiency is quite good. Okay. Uh, we can't really get um, revenge without a horse. Uh, you know, Maybe I can fight them on the open field, but I need a horse for that. So we're going to need to... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to need to uh, say goodbye to those guys. Our big nice party. We started off well, we ended badly because of these these fuckers. We, we killed a, we killed like nine of them. Uh, uh, well, at least uh, we uh, did some damage. They were like thirty originally. We we did uh, we caused nine casualties on their side, I think. I remember them starting with thirty, but it says over here they have twenty three in their party. But I remember also saying we killed eleven. I I, don't, I have no idea. I can't remember. Okay, I guess we'll end this episode over here, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, and uh, yes, it's uh, it's been a uh, bad ending, but it's fine. It's fine. Once again, leave your comments down below, and of course, uh, leave leave with the companions that you want renamed down below as well. Okay, so for Karga and Mr. Spartan, please. Uh, you know, I think I'm calling you Mr. Spartan, but just to clarify, it's it's I believe it's Robe Spartan. Uh, Rope Spartan and Karga, please uh, leave me a companion in this mod uh, and tell me what to rename them as. Okay, and I will rename them in your honor. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao, ciao, bye bye, paka paka, yalla yalla.